Welcome back to Ozarks Live. With us now are Gabby Catlin, Caleb Patterson, and Rick Dines from Springfield Contemporary Theater. You guys have a new show. First of all, welcome. Hey, welcome to our you. tiny couch. <laughs> <laughs> you have a new show coming out called You're in Town. And I'm like, I, I, I don't even know where to start with this. <laughs> I know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy show. Um, yeah, tell us about and, it. And it's a show that specifically knows that it has a bad title. Um, <laughs> no, it's a funny show. It's a show that's uh, set in kind of a not too distant or past dystopian place where <laughs> where there's a water shortage and uh, people have to pay to use public restrooms, private restrooms are outlawed and the poor are getting squeezed out oh. and rise up in revolt uh, to fight to yeah. fight back um, and so but it's a crazy group of scrappy individuals <laughs> who kind of team together and so it's outrageously funny it's probably one of the funniest musicals of the last 25 years okay um, yeah. and at the same time it's an award-winning Broadway musical I was gonna ask <laughs> yeah. that so what kind of awards has it won I mean it's it, it won some Tonys it's been up uh -huh. for other things mm -hmm. out of critic circle and lots of other awards when yeah. it was playing in New York but yeah an award-winning musical that's been produced all over the country right. from high schools to professional theaters and everything else yeah. and you mentioned the setting I read something about maybe being kind of like a gothic city type is that right yeah it's very much kind of a Gotham like city uh -huh. you know that that this is going on in it's a little bit of a police state mm -hmm. and um but at the same time like i said it's comedy <laughs> well yeah i mean i love that i love that so i mean does this have some underlying themes that you're trying to pull out because most of the stuff the, that you do yeah the does, show right? the show does have a lot to say i uh -huh. mean it, it, but it's it says it in a very satirical way it's uh -huh. it's a very much a satire on corporate corruption and mm -hmm. and public versus private privatization of utilities and mm -hmm. at the same time it's it talks about a water crisis it talks about you know all these things okay. are happening <laughs> right. but at the same right. time on the guys of a very outrageous crazy show so mm -hmm. um, okay. now are you two what's what's your role here so I play Hope Cladwell and she is the daughter of the private owner that uh, owns this company that controls all these public bathrooms so I'm I'm on the rich side of things okay <laughs> and then I'm kind of on the poor side of things <laughs> um, so I play Bobby Strong and he's an assistant custodian at one of these public restrooms uh -huh. and he kind of is the ringleader of the revolution. Oh. So um, I get inspired by hope, actually, <laughs> to, to kind of lead this revolt against the privatization of the urinals. So <laughs> that's what happens. So, and it kind of becomes well, a, it, a Romeo and Juliet I've kind of story seen. because oh, yeah. you've got yes. yeah, you've got these two people on opposite sides mm -hmm. who kind of also fall in love. Mm -hmm. And so there, that relationship is at so odds. Is that still like a humanity theme coming together well, here? That yes. I mean, oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, yes. Yeah. I so, think that's the fun part of these characters is like I'm leading this crazy revolution, but I'm also in love with her. Mm -hmm. So like, there's kind of those two things happening at the same time. Yeah, and he's young and he's awkward and he's trying to figure out how to do both <laughs> right. things because neither have come in natural. The show, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, not, yeah. Not yeah. Life, right? <laughs> no typecasting. <laughs> <into this world. laughs> yeah. So uh, when you're tackling deeper topics like you guys often do, but yet it's a comedy, like how do those two things fit together as you're acting this out? I think it's a lot of character work. We do a lot of discussion about mm -hmm. how does your character relate to this character and then how does that further the message of the show. And so there's thematic work there. We're lucky that the text itself does a lot of that work for us. So okay. if you're playing true to the text, you're right on the money and it's hard to miss. And so part of it's the directing, telling us what we need to do, connecting with actors, mm -hmm. and then just really staying true to what's, what's on the written word. And what's so great about Rick and the directing team is we talk so much about meaning. And, and, and intention and what are we trying to say? And mm -hmm. I think that's been kind of the best part of the process for me is, yeah, we're being funny and we're trying to get the laughs, but we're also trying to get the message across as well. Well, it sounds fabulous. Yeah. And yeah. when can we find this? Where, where? The show opens this Friday, okay. the 16th. Now, you have a new location. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, but anyway, we run the 16th through July 2nd. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're, this is our second production at the Historic Fox Theater down on the Perfect. square. Perfect. Uh, this is our first production as the new resident company of the Fox, so which is going to be our home, yeah. our home for quite right. a while. So, right. so yeah, we're excited. That's amazing. How do people get tickets? Uh, SpringfieldContemporaryTheater.org for tickets or call our box office. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being Thank here. You. Thank you. This is really fascinating to me. I mean, not just the name, but everything you had to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.